Ya estoy en clase. Este, ya estoy en clase. Gracias. Good evening. Good evening, Juan. Let's wait a little bit, okay? <clears throat> Let's wait for the rest, okay? Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, Norma, Daniel. Hello, Michael. 
Joel, good evening. So, good evening, Berenice, Merlin. Good evening. Good evening, welcome back. Okay, how Juan Fernando, Gladys, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good to see you. Okay, we're going to start in a minute. Let's wait a little bit, a couple of minutes more. Okay. Let's wait for the rest. I have eight participants, and that's good. Okay, I have Aiden there. Hello, Aiden. Hope you are okay. Well, let's see. There are some people. We are still waiting for some people. So tonight is a night in which we're gonna work with vocabulary, right? So something which is uh, quite important is to acquire vocabulary and to put it into practice, right? So how was your day today, people? How was your day? What's new? Have you learned something in English today? Well, Beralis is just coming. Okay, good evening, Beralis. Good evening. So we're going to start in a minute, okay? I'm trying to make some time so that the rest of the, of the participants can gather. Now, is, is there any, is there any um, information that you wanna share with the group over here? New vocabulary, new expressions that you have learned lately. That would be fantastic, right? Remember that every single day is a, an opportunity to learn something new, especially uh, in our case, because we are learning a second language, right? So we have to learn a lot of vocabulary. Well, I will check the list of things and then we're gonna start. I have uh, some exercises, okay? That we're going to discuss to, tonight. List of tenants. Be ready, please. So later we're going to discuss the info that's in the platform. Then we're going to see a couple of um, links that I have just cutting over here. You know, we have been studying about uh, would you mind, could, should, and should not, uh, steps to write for an, a formal email. And yesterday we were talking about um practicing good etiquette at at the workplace that was the last stop right tonight we're gonna talk a little about vocabulary but give me a second need a checklist attendance and then to start with the topic for tonight well welcome everybody it's a pleasure to see you in a class Aiden Okay, Aidan, I, I hope you can participate tonight in the class, right? It's been so long since the last time I could listen to you in a class. I hope that you that you do not have any trouble tonight. Belen? Daniel? Present teacher. Good, Daniel. Edgar? 
Gladys Rubidia. Present. Excellent. Jonathan. José Daniel. Juan Fernando. Present teacher. Good. María Elba. Yes, sir. Yeah, there. Mario Cristóbal. I'm sorry. Nothing, teacher. Oh, okay. So, Mario Cristóbal. Berenice. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Merlin. Present Mike? teacher. Okay, Merlin, good to know. You are here. Michael? I'm here, teacher. Good. Noe Aníbal. Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Excellent. Ronan. Teresa. Vera Liz. Present. Excellent. And Chancy Lisset. I hope that you are just, that you are okay and that you are willing to start a new journey, a new class in this uh, curse, okay? I love when you participate, you know, that's something that I, I highly recommend you to do. And, you know, as, all, as always, we're going to get back to see some information we started with yesterday. I can see people in the chat. Jose Daniel is there and also Veralis. Welcome. Well, let us try to get into the topic that we are uh, starting or with that we're in church of um, starting tonight. Oops, what did I do? I don't know what I did. Okay. Now I hope that you can see the info there. Uh, yesterday, as I told you, right? Uh, we were talking about etiquette. And we were also discussing about, about the topic on creating a good environment to, um, to a good environment at work. That was the topic, right? How to create a good, a, a better environment at work. Okay, and we were discussing a lot. We learned a lot yesterday as well. Over here, we have some information related to the topic we started yesterday. As you can see, there are some scenarios in which uh, there are good and or bad etiquette at a workplace or at meetings. And we have, for example, the first one. You are gonna tell me the answer and at the same time, you're gonna tell me what you think about it, okay? Now, being late for a formal meeting, what is that, good or bad? Bad. bad. What do you think bad. about being late for a formal meeting? What do you think about a person who's late for a formal meeting? He is not responsible. Okay, the person is not responsible. Aha, uh -huh, what else? Remember that lately I have been trying to push you to speak. Se han fijado, mm -hmm. hoy, hoy al final estoy tratando de que practiquen más su speaking. Now, what else can you tell me? I mean, which ideas come to your mind about a person who, who comes late for a formal meeting? Now you said that's bad. Okay, it's bad. But what do you think about that? What do you think about the it's, person? It's bad because I interrupt the meeting. It is bad because the person who gets late to the class uh, to the to the meeting interrupts the meeting. Mm -hmm. 
Uh -huh. What else? What else, people? More ideas? More ideas about being late for formal meeting? If no, is that actually? Actually. It is not good, actually. It is not good, actually. Uh huh. Well, it's a right. impression. A bad impression of the people who are in the meeting, right? Now, well, try to get your own ideas, okay? Because later, uh, at the end, you, you are going to tell me what you, your general idea about the topic itself. To answer a personal phone call during a business presentation, you are, and you are the speaker. Well, listen to this one. To answer a personal phone call during a business presentation, and you are the speaker, and you are the presenter. Good or bad? Bad. Bad. Okay, bad, bad. What do you think? about that situation. You have to be contrarious and go upside to answer. Okay. What else? Now, for example, it is, respect. is this respectful? Okay, so we have a, a new word there. Now, listen, tonight we are talking about, about vocabulary. Look at the chart. This respectful. You are going to look for that word, okay? Disrespectful. Okay, it is disrespectful to answer a phone call, uh, especially when you are the presenter, when you are the speaker, okay? Good. Be punctual and set everything up before people arrive at the meeting. Good or bad? What? Yeah, what do you think about it? What do you think about it? What do you think about people who are punctual and set everything up before people arrive at the meeting? It is good, yes, I know it's good, but what do you think? Yeah. Thank you can worry. Uh -huh. It is interesting in work by uh, arrive easily. Interesting. That is the word that, you, that comes to your mind. Okay, good. No more ideas? Uh, that person is, is an orderly person. A very well organized person. Okay. Somebody who sets everything on time is because the person is organized. Good. Now shout while you speak. Shout while you speak. Good or bad. Shout while you speak. Good or bad? It's bad. While, while is it gritar? No, no, I mean, why is no gritar? No, shout. Maybe why is, yeah, why is, look for the meaning of this word, right? This is important because it's a, it's a very common word that we use in English, why? Look for it, please. Shout while you speak. It is bad, but what do you think? What else can you tell me about shouting? Because it is, it is proper. Porque no es correcto. It is not it is not proper, okay? It's not correct to do so, okay? You you have to speak and 
Vale. Softly. Softly. Yo. Okay. Good. Fall asleep during a conference. Get a bad. Mm, bad. It's bad. It is bad. <laughs> Reason? <laughs> Reasons? But not paying attention in the old meeting. Because they they lose because. Or, or they do not get the, the information they are supposed to acquire during a conference, right? Okay, and it it's is bad. very... Uh -huh. Fernando? It's bad, it's bad merits. It is bad, yeah, merits. And also, um, you know, it is very disrespectful that there's a person just in front of, the, of other people and see other people sleeping while he or she speaks. Okay, good. So this is this was the topic about yesterday. We're gonna see the answers. The notice about the way we have just answered to these questions. Okay. So I I don't I don't think this topic is complicated. Actually, later we we'll learn a lot. And tonight, for example, we are gonna we're gonna get is some vocabulary right remember tonight is a night in which we're gonna we're gonna get some vocabulary important right very important to get some vocabulary over here well now yes let us let us talk a little bit about what happened yesterday and about well, we're going to see some info in here, but would you mind? Let me see. Yeah. So this one was the one, right? Okay, now people, how do you pronounce this? Uh huh. Eric. Uh -huh. This one. Wide line. Mm. Look for it in the internet, please. Mm. Guideline. Guidelines. <laughs> okay. This one. Guideline. Light. 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 This one. Monitor. Manners. This one. Regards. Regards. This one. Actual. Punctual. Punctual. This one. Late come. A late come a person. This one. Behavior. 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 Yeah. This one. Salutation. Salutation and subject. Okay, now from these words, now from these words, how do you find etiquette, people, in your own words? Me van a decir cómo define cada palabra. What's etiquette? If you don't know, look for the word in the internet. And tell me about it. I mean, what I want you to do is to be ready to provide the meaning of certain words, but in English. Etiquette. Um, our behavior. Etiquette is about behavior. Yes. Uh huh. And you, that's etiquette is is behavior. Etiquette. etiquette. Is the way of behaving. Uh, it's a way of behaving. No forma de comportarse. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. So that's etiquette. Okay. What about guidelines? Uh 
Hmm? What about guidelines? Guidelines. Get the meaning, please. Now, when, when you get the meaning in English, then you get it. Okay, I mean, you get it somewhere. Vayan, vayan colocando, digamos, estas palabras, nos las vamos a aprender, pero vamos a decir el significado en inglés, ¿verdad? Okay, so, es lo que yo necesito que hagamos ahorita. Etiquette, well, you say, it's a way of behaving, you, you mentioned it, right? Now, what about guidelines? Guidelines. Guidelines is so, uh, uh, someone topics. It's about the way a topic is arranged or organized, or what do you, what do you see in the dictionary or, or in a web page you're looking for this word? Guidelines are, are rulers. Rule. Okay, rule. Guidelines are rules. Okay. The guidelines. The guidelines to follow to have good manners. Good manners. Okay, there are some guidelines uh, that have been creating about or with the topic in manners, right? Okay, polite. What's polite, people? In English, of course, right? Polite. Mm. Polite. Mm. Polite and uh, our, our manners. Okay, okay. You can look in the internet, right? Also, right? To investigate about it and also provide an, an example with the word. Would be really nice. How do you define polite in English? Hey, we can say the person is educated. Okay, an educated person, a kind person, someone who expresses um, in a very uh, polite way by using expressions that can help to create a good environment at work, which is the topic that we have been discussing lately. Manners? Manners. Mm, the manners uh, are are rules uh, that that guy behavior. Are rules that help you to uh, behave in a be good way. Okay, maybe it may be that way. Three cards. Yeah. Three cards. Regards. An an example that regard is is say hello or Okay, what else can you tell me about this expression, about regards?
and we, welcome uh, this uh, this uh, class. Welcome this class. Other example that regards. You use also that word when you when you type a, an email, right? You can use it. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, I'm sorry, Michael. Is handshake. Handshaking. Handshaking. Mm. With that, with that we start send email. Uh huh. When we start a, a document, right? A, a letter, or uh, yesterday we were talking about. The informal emails, so that that is very good for that. Tell me about the word punctual. Punctual. It is what a uh, Salvadorian does. Not to. <laughs> it's the opposite about what Salvadorian people do when <laughs> yes when meeting. Uh -huh. Okay, so late comer. Late comer. Late comer. Okay, what's late comer, people? Late comer is como newcomer, recién llegado. Okay, yeah, but that's, that's a person that comes late, right? Behavior. How do you define behavior? Look for it. Behavior. Behavior or conduct. Or action. Okay. Action. Behavior. Your performance. The way you perform activity, the way you act. Okay, the way you address to other people. Okay, if you are respectful or if you are disrespectful, if you, um, well, the way you behave. In general, salutation. Salutations. Greetings. Greetings. Is a greeting. It's about greetings, right? Yeah, subject. Sujeto. Subject. Subject. Teacher. Hello, hello. I have a question. Tell me um, about that question. What is the difference uh, between regards and salutations? Well, uh, salutations and regards are similar, right? They are similar. Um, okay. okay, so I mean, that as um, in English, you, you know, if you say, hey, tell me the meaning of uh, regards, when you say salutation, you say uh, greetings, right? So there are different, that's why we are studying vocabulary tonight, because in English, we have a lot of vocabulary, some of them can, can be uh, used I mean, have similar meaning. And, and then if you say um, greetings, they salutation, regards. They're very similar. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay. 
Now, look, uh, we're going to go over some reading, some information, because, um, well, as you can see, there are some expressions here. We're going to work on here first, and then we're going to see the, the links that I have uh, looked for. And uh, we are going to see some expressions that are very polite. We have already started about would you mind? And as you can see, we continue seeing the same um, info. Would you mind moving your car? Hey, have you ever used this expression at, at work? This is very common, right? It's blocking, it's blocking mind. ¿Alguna vez han usado estas frases en español? Yes. En, en su lugar de trabajo. Hey, would you mind moving your car? It's blocking mine. You could fill this purchase order. Would you send in this invitation to your assistant? Would you mind ordering something to eat? Could you... Could you come in earlier tomorrow? We need to receive our visitors. There are some, there are certain ways you, you can, uh, you can answer, right? Select the most appropriate answer for the request below. Would you mind turning the lights on? Would you mind, would you mind turning the lights on? You said no problem, right? No problem. No, uh, I, no, no problem. I'll do it. Could you order something to it, please? What's the best option? Is pizza okay? Could you request most tubo paper clip, please? Right away or I could do it right away, right? Right away, that's the best option. Would you mind getting 10 copies of the report? In a minute, right? Would you mind getting 10 copies of the report? In a minute, excuse me, could you turn down the volume a bit? Not a problem. Okay, more expressions, right? So we are studying expressions. Okay. And we're going to see some behavior or some sentences in which you're going to tell me, or you are going to suggest the person what to do. For example, Sara never stops chatting on the phone when she has, or when we have lunch. What should Sara do? What should Sara do? Sara never stopped chatting on the phone when she has lunch or when, when uh, we have lunch. Tell me, how, how what, what would be the suggestion for Sara? What would be the suggestion for Sarah? She then use your phone in when we eating. Okay, she shouldn't. She shouldn't use her, her cell phone when having lunch with us. Okay, thank you, Berenice. Number two, my boss doesn't like to walk to my desk when he needs something. He shouts at me from his desk. What should he do? Number two. What should he do?
My boss doesn't like to walk to my desk when he needs something. He shouts. He shouts. He sure. shouts at me from his desk. It's like, like shouting somebody, hey, God, do me a favor to bring some paper. I need it. Is that, you know, do you think it's, it's, it's a good behavior or a bad behavior? Shout is bad behavior. It is a bad behavior. It is, right? So, but what do you recommend this person? ¿Qué le recomiendan a esta persona? El jefe, cuando necesita algo, grita. Por ejemplo, tráiganme papel o algo que necesito. ¿Qué le sugerirían ustedes a esta persona en inglés? Uh -huh. What would you suggest? And for your office? He should walk to the desk. Uh -huh. The yeah. bus. Or he should, he should move to a spot. He be more polite with your employer. Mm -hmm. He should be more polite with his employees. Mm -hmm. Don't shoot. <laughs> shouldn't, shouldn't, Michael. Don't shouldn't. Uh, don't, uh, he shouldn't shout. He shouldn't. He shouldn't shout uh, when, when being in need of something. Okay. Jimena and Susan take many selfies when they are working. Why would you suggest? to them or what would be the suggestion for those to those ladies Jimena and Susan right they take many selfies when they are working what do you suggest it's bad behavior yeah it's it, Behavior. It's bad behavior, but what would you suggest? They shouldn't take selfies at work. Hey, uh, you shouldn't take selfies when working, okay? When working. Yeah, when working. You shouldn't take um, selfies when working. That is disrespectful. Jimena and Susan should have better behavior. Uh, you should, you should, uh, you should model a better behavior. Oh, okay. Okay. Pablo paused the sign at a good time. Look. <laughs> Pablo paused the sign not a good time in his office door. So his team doesn't talk to him. What would you advise? Or what would be the suggestion to Pablo? Uh -huh. Suggestions? You, sh you should be more accessibly with your co work. Okay. Not a good time. <laughs> what What if you like include or you sign a post like that in at work? ¿Cómo creen que los demás verían que ustedes pusiera algo como eso? En el lugar donde usted trabaja. Ajá. That's not good behavior. It's not good behavior. You shouldn't do that, okay? You shouldn't do that. So everybody has bad times up in towns, but 
when working, you need to show the best version of you. The best, okay? You should try to be, um, or to, I mean, to keep a balance, right? Graciela always signs her emails with an, with the emoji, with this emoji. What do you think? What would you suggest? To Graciela. She's informal. Okay, yeah, it is informal. Okay, so she's not respecting. Okay. The rules. To write a formal or to type a formal email. Yeah, but what would be the suggestion? You should sign your email with your name. Okay, you should sign your email with uh, the email with your name. Okay. Well, you see, we have a lot of info here. Now, in tonight, it's a night in which we're going to see some vocabulary. Okay, we will, we will continue talking about vocabulary. Okay. We're going to go over it. Uh, there's an exercise over here. I, I already saw the information, how to answer the phone, because this is a, a different way to communicate, right? So what are we going to do with this, people? We're going to see the video, but I will share the link over here, like the way I did yesterday. And we're going to see, let me see how long is the video. It's like, well, I, I will stop sharing. I need to see the time of the video. Oh, it's like nine, nine minutes. Okay, so it's a little bit long, okay? It is a little bit long. It's like nine minutes, but I think it's, I consider it important. I consider it important to see it, okay? And, uh, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna work on it, take notes, okay? Vamos a ver ese video, tomen apuntes, porque al final necesito que me hagan un summary. Una, una breve explicación. No, no vamos a trabajar en equipo todavía. Ok. Pero en, en algún momento creo que sí vamos a, a hacerlo. Veamos ahorita este video. Uh, then you saw the exercise that's there. Ahí van a encontrar un ejercicio de 10 um, dificultades. Lo contestan y bueno, luego nos comentan lo que aprendieron. So, the link is over here. Acá está el link. Nueve minutos exactos. Ok. De, perdón, nueve minutos y un par de segundos de video. Pero es necesario que lo veamos y que le saquemos como lo más significativo para utilizar cuando, cuando creamos una conversación. Luego, sí van a trabajar en tríos, en grupos de tres. ¿Ok? Va a crear una conversación. De acuerdo, con lo que vamos a aprender del video ahorita. So, let us, let us spend like 10 minutos, justo a las, a las 9. Eh, voy a interrumpir para que empecemos a trabajar en una conversación telefónica. Ok, so here we go. 10 minutos, 10 minutos a partir de este momento.
Okay, are you ready, people? Hello, hello. I don't know if you can listen to me. Can you listen to me, people? You know, I'm training hard once again. I don't know. How are you doing there? How's everything there? Are you ready? Did you see the video? In that video, uh... thank you, Mary. Uh -huh. I hope I hope that you are ready, people. I'm sorry, but you know, we're once again over here. So I will try to do my best. Okay, I'll be the people to speak aloud. Uh, when, when, when our call. Let us know about what you what you got in the video. Michael? Yes, it's him. Uh -huh. Did you learn something in there? Mm, in this video, I speak about the two forms of the... Two forms? Mm. Uh, only that is okay, so Okay, now, anybody else want to add something about the video, about how to communicate through the cell phone or through a phone call, which is another way to communicate, right? Just friends we will talk. Uh -huh. In the other moments, it's, uh, I don't know, it's your boss or co worker, and you need to be you. You answer is that informal. Formal. It's a little informal. Yeah, the first thing is I uh, identify. Who's the which person you that's calling? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's right. It's because we tend to communicate differently from people to people. Right? But when we are at work, when we are at work, I think uh, we tend to be like, or, or to, or to communicate in a different way. So actually, I have one example here. I will share it with you. We're gonna work in in couple, so I think we're gonna create like groups, and we're gonna see what we have here. Well, actually, I will try to share it with you now. We're gonna see the information here. I'm sorry, but training is really hard here. So here we go. Now, I have this conversation. This is the only conversation I, I got that uh, it's about like uh, ordering something through a phone call. And, you know, you can see this page, right? The European Cyber Listening Lab Rwanda. This is the one. You have the information here. You can listen to 
the converse can change it. You can read it, but you are using it too. You get to think through the next. We have employee and we have a customer. We're going to listen to the way they communicate. Okay? And we're going to see if the employee is communicating effectively through the phone call. Okay? Now, we're going to see what we have here. Listen. Ah, oh, well, I will share the link. I think it's there, right? So you, you have it? Will you have it as an example? There you are. Now, uh, listen to this. Please. Now, besides that, you need to you need to look for the uh, new expression. Okay. Let us see. Tell me if you are able to listen to it. Hello. Can I take your order? Yeah. Will you listen to me? Will you listen to the audio people? Yes. Okay. Very yes. good. Now, remember, well, first off, you need to see the information, get some vocabulary, and also uh, start working in a conversation in which you are going to put into practice like some, some expression or the way you behave in a, in a conversation that's trying your good. Here we go. Here we go. Hello, can I take your order? Yes, I'd like a large pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and green peppers. Would you like anything else? Well, wait, uh, can I make that a half and half pizza? Sure, what would you like on each half? Uh, what toppings do you have? Well, we have Italian sausage, ham, mushrooms, onions, pineapple, black olives, green peppers, bacon, tomatoes, shrimp, clams, and squid. Shrimp, clams, and squid? What kind of pizza is that? Uh, the manager spent some time overseas oh. and thinks his new seafood pizza will be a hit with the customers. But to be honest, the swimmer special, as he <laughs> calls it, is an acquired taste. Uh, I'll pass on that sink or swim special, but I'll have pepperoni and mushrooms on one half and green peppers and Italian sausage on the other. Oh, and could I get extra cheese on that pizza? All right. Would you care for any breadsticks or a beverage with your order? Well, I don't know. Actually, uh, we have a Friday night special going on right now. Oh. And if you order any large pizza and drink, we'll throw in a free order of breadsticks, plus a $3 coupon for use with your next order. Huh. Uh, sure, why not? And what drink comes with the pizza? Either apple or orange juice. I'll take orange juice. Okay. Your total comes to fifteen nineteen, which includes tax. Okay. And could I have your name? Uh, yeah. Jay Han. Uh, did you say Jay Hand? No, it's Han. Actually, it's a Korean name, but many people have difficulty making it out. Hey, maybe I should change my name to Hand. Ah, uh, names are important. Don't change it. Okay. Oh, and your address and telephone number? It's 1340 South, 16 East, and the phone number is 340-1870. Okay, let me repeat your order. A large half-and-half -half pizza. Okay. One half with pepperoni and mushrooms. Yeah. The other with Italian sausage and green peppers. Yeah. Orange juice and your free order of breadsticks. Jay Han. Not hand. Yeah, that's right. At 340 South, 16 East, 340-1817, is that correct? Everything except for the phone number. It's 1870, not 17. All right. Thanks for your order. It should arrive at your doorstep in 30 minutes or less, or you'll receive a free small pizza with your next order. Great, thanks. Great, thanks. Okay, so that is actually... The uh, conversation that's it's going to serve as uh, an example for you to put into practice vocabulary, expressions, etc. That we have been uh, studying lately. Okay, so now in the conversation, you saw information such as pepperoni. Now you will see what the meaning of that um, word is be a hit, you know, being a hit. Ordering pizza for the party was a hit. Okay. Therefore, have a preference or, or a liking for something. Uh, would you care for anything else today? Acquired or taste expression. A taste that takes time to get used to some people. Say, 
that learning to like sushi is an acquired taste. Beverage is a drink. What kind of beverage do you want to serve at the party? Throw in, okay? Throw in says add. The pizza shop always throws in a free drink with every order. Then we have a coupon, and that's a certificate used to receive money off on purchases. Let's use the pizza coupon that came in the mall or in the mail. Make something out. Understand or figure out. I couldn't make it out. I couldn't make out what the customer ordered because of the poor telephone connection. Okay, so you will see this vocabulary and you are going to get the conversation itself. Okay, so you have two options. Pueden presentarnos esta, esta conversación o pueden crear un. Okay. Un. We're going to work in a group of three people. I will stop sharing this. And then uh, we're going to learn how to communicate with other through a, a telephone call. Okay, what are we going to do, people? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Vamos a dar una conversación telefónica en ríos o parejas. Uh -huh. Podemos usar la tele ejemplo o crear una. Crear una, ok. Es importantísimo que utilicen la, la frase, las expresiones que hemos venido estudiando recientemente. Ok. So, here we go. Here we go. Ok, sorpréndanos especialmente utilizando vocabulario nuevo. Ok, let's read. So, we have... We are like 16 people. We're going to have five groups. Cinco grupos. That's it. So we're going to work with, with it now. How much time are you going to have? Well, 20 minutes, I think, will be all right.
So are you working in the conversation, people? Berenice, Jonathan. I can see Ronan is as a listener. And Mario told me they the he was supposed to be as a listener tonight. So Ah, okay. So in okay. and Jonathan is oh yeah, Jonathan is as a listener. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I, I will see if I can make some changes, okay? Okay. How can I help you? How can I help you? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. El signo de interrogación al final. Y aquí yo, eh, sería, me puede comunicar a, a José Daniel, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería. Me speak. No, me I please speak to Daniel. O oh, no. Please. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm so sorry. I can see that you are working really nice. Eh, no sé si este, fíjense que tengo a Berenice que en el grupo donde ella está solo hay listeners. No sé si a Norma le gustaría eh, empezar a trabajar con Berenice. ¿Norma? Norma. Sí, está bien. Ok, eh, Norma, la voy a... La voy a trasladar al otro grupo, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Bye, Norma. Bye. Utilizaremos su nombre, Norma. No hay problema. Ok. Entonces sería... Eh, quiero ver. Sería, can you contact me? Quiero ver. Can you call me? Contact my with José Daniel, please. Can you contact José Daniel, please? Can you, ajá. Uh -huh. Sería, can, el sin la T, sin la la, sin la T, perdón. El Ken, Ken, algo así. El Tiz, ¿verdad? El Tiz, ajá. Y aquí sería. Norma tendría eh, que contestar, quiero ver. Eh, one moment, please. Pero revisemos, solo revisemos. Hello, hello, Sanabri. Ah, just a, just a moment, pero, please. Pero fíjate que Norma nunca pregunta quién habla. No, ¿verdad? No, no pregunta, o sea, y una sola vez le puedo pasar a José Daniel, está fregado. Bueno, porque como no va a estar Norma, lo podemos hacer así. Ah. <risa> <risa> pues. Entonces sería, aquí oraríamos, ¿verdad? ¿En qué puedo ayudarle? No, no, ahí déjalo, está bien. No, lo que pasa es que Norma nunca le pregunta a Fernando quién es. O sea, ahorita, según la conversación, no sabemos quién es el que habla. Ah, no me, no me presenté. Ajá. Es cierto. Sería de la Norma. Hello, hello. ¿Cómo aquí puedo hablarle yo? Hello, my name is Fernando. Ajá, cabal, hey. cabal, cabal. ¿Es José Daniel de aquí? Ajá, cabal, así, así. ¿Es José Daniel de aquí, por favor? Es Norma speaking. Who can I help you? Can you contact oh. eh, José Daniel, por favor? Y Norma, Norma. Les diría, just 
just a moment, please. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Vale. Y aquí me contestas tú, ¿verdad? Ajá, qué vale. Hello, Fernando. Y qué le agregamos a la conversación. Hello, Fernando. Eh... Lo mismo de how, you, how, you, how can I help you? Okay. Ah, y sin la T también, el can. Sin la T. También arriba. Ok. Sí, ¿verdad? Hello Fernando, can I help you? Yes, Fernando. Yes. Eh, ¿Lo hacemos algo del trabajo? Sí. Eh, Como necesito que ustedes o oh, necesitamos oh. en el trabajo. O podemos poner, o como ya tienes listo el reporte, algo así. Ah, sí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sería como. Espera, sí. ya lo ves. Are you ready to have to report to people ready? Sí, así. Do you have... Do you have a way? Por eso me gusta <ríe> Word porque de un solo te, te, te pasa la conversación. Report ready. Sí, ¿verdad? All ready, right, Kevin. Sí, así. Espera, espera. O solo tienes el reporte. Solo tienes el reporte, ajá. ¿eh? Mejor, digo yo, no. Sí, solo tienes el reporte. Sí, mejor así. Aquí, Daniel. Uh -huh. eh, pongámosle en... ¿Qué tan largo te deberá hacer? Porque aquí... Porque o... digamos, digamos, lo puedes decir, sí. Eh, ya, yes, te lo eh... mando por email en unos minutos. Ah, cabal, cabal, cabal. Yo usar el traductor. <risa> pues sí. Envío por correo en unos minutos. With pepperoni and mushroom and the other green Italian sauce and green peppers, orange juice and to free order uh, prestis, uh, Jay and not hand. Um, uh, 13, uh, 40, so six, 16, X, uh, uh, 3, 4, 0, 1, 8, uh, 1, 7. Is that correct? Everything else except for the phone number. It's 18, 17, not 18, all right. All right. Thanks. Thanks for your order. It should arrive at your doorstep in 30, in 30 okay. minutes or less. Or you receive a very small pizza with your next order. Great. Thanks. Ay. Verdad que está largo ese otro. Unos, unos que otros están algo larguitos, pero igual hasta okay. tenemos. Tenemos que acostumbrarnos. Vale. ¿Cómo vamos a hacer ahí? En este caso, cuando ya estemos allí ya con la presentación. Uh -huh. Y lo que están en paréntesis, ¿será que lo dice la otra persona? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, ese es un, un, rem, un remedo que hace uno cuando está hablando usted. Y otro, ah, ah, no, ah, 
Ah, ah, sí. Okay. <ríe> dice, okay. Cuando dice which includes eh, tax, cuando dice ah, ok, dice uno y usted uh -huh. sigue right. Es un remedio. <ríe> o bueno. dice ok, yeah. <ríe> right. Si quiere, empecemos nuevamente. Ok. ¿Usted o yo? Eh, no sé, idea. ¿Cuál quiere ser? <risa> Ay, yo cualquiera. <risa> Hello. Vaya, empiezo yo. Pues. Hello, can I, can I take your order? Yes, I like a large pepperoni pizza with mushroom and green peppers. Eh, would you like anything else? Well, wait, who can I make that a half and half pizza? Sure. Uh, what would you like on, on each half? Oh, what topping do you have? Uh, well, we we have Italian sausage, ham, mushroom, onions, pineapples, plant ovaries, green peppers, bacon, tomatoes, shrimp, 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 clams, and squid. Shrimp? Clam and squeal. What kind of pizza is that? <clears throat> oh, the manager spent some time overseas oh. and seeing his new seafood seafoods pizza will be a hit uh, with the customer uh, back to be honest, the swimmer special and uh, he calls he has a square taste. Oh, I'll pass on that thing or twin, a special, but I have pepperoni and mushroom on one half and green peppers and Italian sauce on the order. Oh, and could I get extra cheese on that pizza? All right. Would you care for any bread, sticks, or a beverage uh, with your order? Uh, actually, we have Friday night special going going on right now, and mm -hmm. I you order any large pizza and drink, we'll throw in a free order of bread stick plus a three dollar coupon for use with your next order. Oh, oh, sure. Why not? And what drink comes with the pizza? Either apple or, or orange juice. I'll tie orange juice. Okay, your total, total uh, comes to 16, 19, which includes tax. And could I uh, have your name? Oh, yeah. Jay Han. Oops, uh, did you say Jay Han? No, it's Han. Actually, it's a current name. But many people have difficulty make, making it out. Hey, Mabel, I shall change my name to Han. Ah, names are important. Don't check it. Oh, and your address and mm -hmm. telephone numbers? It's uh, 13, 40, so uh, 16, 18. And the phone number is 340-18-20-17. Okay, let me repeat your order. A large half and half pizza, okay. uh, one half big pepperoni and mushroom. Yeah. And the other with Italian sauce and green peppers. Yeah. <clears throat> Orange juice and your free order on breakfast. Uh, breakfast. Jay, Jay Han. Oh, not Han. Uh, at uh, yes, right. 30, 13, 40, so 16 eggs, uh, 3, 4, 0, 1, 8, uh, 1, 7. Is that correct? Every, every, for the phone number, it's. Ah, el sobrecargo, ¿cómo sería el sobrecargo? Eso, así Eso. es, dime ah. ya. Ajá. <laughs> Bueno, 
Ya incluye los cinco pesos del delivery. No, y, bueno, le vamos a poner más, more, more, 25 yeah. for delivery. Sí, sí, está bien. Bueno. Dígame usted entonces si hacemos las dos o solo esta, no sé. Eh, no sé si usted gusta, eh, podrían ser ambos ejemplos, porque una, la primera es informal y la segunda sí es formal. Ajá. Vaya, hagamos las dos entonces. Ok, me dice usted. WhatsApp. Sí, está bien. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hola. ¿Cuál es, ¿Cuál es tu teléfono? ¿Cómo empieza? 7168. 7168. Creo que lo tengo. Lo voy a automatar. Vaya. Vaya, a ver si se lo voy a mandar. Vaya. ¿Lo practicamos otra vez? Sí, sí, está bien. 71-68, ¿verdad, Liz? Sí, correcto. Y te lo voy a enviar. Han, actually, it's a current name, but many people have difficult making it out. Amable, I should change my name to Han. Ah, names are important. Do change it. Or oh, are your address and telephone numbers? It's. 13, 40 South, 16, 8. And the phone number is 3, 40, uh, 18, 70. Okay, let me repeat your order. A large half and half pizza. Uh, one half with pepperoni and, and mushroom. Uh -huh. And the other with Italian sauce and green pepper. Yeah. Orange juice and you... You free order and bread sticks? Yay, yeah. yeah, Jay Ah, no Han. <laughs> yes, that's right. I I I accept the uh, thirteen forty sold sixteen x uh, three four zero uh, one eight one seven. Is that correct? Every except for the no for the number, it's seven eighteen. 17, 18, 17. All right. Thanks for your order. If you arrive at your store step and 30 minutes or less, or you receive a free small pizza with your next order. Right. Right. <laughs> 
<risa> bueno, pues. <risa> ya nos estamos trabando, Melo. <risa> Ay, yo no los trabajo mucho. Uh -huh. <risa> y hoy. Y hoy. Sigamos repasando. Ok. Empiezo, pues. Hello, uh -huh. can I tell you, tell you all? Yes. I like, I like pepperoni pizza with mushroom and green peppers. Would you like anything else? Well, wait. Uh, si gustan, practiquemelo okay. una vez más. Okay. okay. Desde, desde el principio. Al, al segundo, ver al al segundo sonido. Vaya, perfecto. Solo no uno escuché. Ajá, yo también. Solo. <ríe> Espérate, otra vez, otra vez. Ahora. Solo uno, oigo igual, pero... Ok. Bueno, lo tiene el teléfono en la mano, que conteste rápido. Ajá. <risa> ok, bye. Hello. Hello, my name is Fernando. Is Jose Daniel there, here, please? Berelisa speaking. How can I help you? Can you contact Jose Daniel, please? Just a moment, please. Hello, Fernando. How can I help you? Yes, you already have the report. If I send it you by email a few minutes. Okay, I have you. Ya, Listo. Listo. Perfecto. Del teléfono se lo Solo uno se escucha. Creo que voy a quitar los auriculares solo por ahora. Los minutos en que pensé que mi hijo podía estar muerto. Porque no respiraba y me escuchan sí sí me escuchan sí perfecto okay. sí Voy a probar la, el efecto de sonido todavía. Vamos a ver si se escuchan los dos. Vaya. Aunque los aman No se escuchó Escuch ninguno. Yo creo que se escuchó bien suavecito. <ríe> salió un pelo. Sí, salió. <ríe> Al menos que se escuche Ajá. uno. <ríe> Ajá, pero bien suavecito. <ríe> Y ahora, uno, uno, sí, uno se escuchó. Vale, no, pues, sí. Entonces, ahí lo dejamos. Entonces, a empezar en un minuto. En un minuto. Sí. Preparar nuestros efectos de sonido. Bueno. Que oyen los pasos. Sí, se escuchan. Ah, puede hacer los pasos también, José Daniel. Bueno, voy a esperar entonces. Para la que suenen. 
All right, people. I I could notice that you were working a lot, and there 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 were some people who were like including some sound effects, <laughs> and uh, that is awesome. Well, uh, in order to take advantage of time, when we only have twenty minutes. Uh, we, I I need I need to see if you actually are ready, right, with the conversation. I will ask. Let me see some of you over here. So Berenice's group. Well, I I try to make two different uh, formal and informal. The first is informal. Normal, you ready? No, it's not Hi, Norma. It's Bernice. How are you? Oh, hi, Bernice. I was just thinking about you. That's nice. I was wondering if you like to go a movie tonight. Sure. I love to watch playing. Well, I was thinking about that new comedy, The Name is the Lights Out. What do you think? Sounds good. That's okay. I pick up you around um, 7 30. And the movie starts at 8 p.m. See you then. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, pretty good now. La formal. Yeah, the sí. next one. Okay. Hello. Hello, could I speak to Norma, please? Yes, of course. Who shall I say? I say is Kali. Uh, this is Bernice. Eh? Oh, hello, Berenice. How are you? I'm fine, fine. Thank you. And you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. I'll use the baby for you. I think he's in the bathroom. Just a moment, Berenice. Ah, oh, that's okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Hey, congratulations. Now, and actually, well, Berenice was working alone at the beginning, and you, you see how, how, um, I mean, how fast can you create something? It took you like, I don't know, like like ten or twelve minutes, some, something like that, right? So congratulations, okay? You 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 have, you have done a great job. Thank you. Thanks. Then we're going to have a uh, Daniel's group, Daniel, Juan Fernando. Okay, and Beraliz. Lobo, lobo, aquí estoy. And Beraliz also, right? So here we go. Okay, Jose Daniel, stay here. Okay. 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 Uh, Hello. Hello, my name is Fernando. Is Jose Daniel there, please? Berelice is speaking. How can I help you? Can you contact Jose Daniel, please? Just a moment, please. <laughs> Hello, Fernando. How can I help you? Yes, 
You already have the report? If in send it to you by email in a few minutes. Okay, I help you. Finish. Finish the chair is a... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, very good. Now, that was quite good. That was, you included some some uh, sounds right to the conversation that was fantastic I, I i was just seeing the way you practice and it was really good you enjoyed what you were doing and that's important also thank you okay. that's important well we're gonna listen to um so give me a second now we have Aníbal, right and Gladys. Good evening, teacher. Okay, uh, good evening. We have uh, uh, we have a conversation. Good. Uh, no tenemos la conversación aquí a la mano. Uh, no, you don't have it? <laughs> they use a conversation exercise. <laughs> ah, you um, use the conversation? Okay, you were practicing the conversation I presented at the beginning. Oh, don't please. worry. I, I will share it with please, you. Please. <laughs> okay, so. Good. <laughs> 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 hello. Hello. Can I, can I take your order? Yes. I like, I like pepperoni pizza with Mushroom and green peppers. Uh, would you like anything else? Well, but uh, can I make that a half a half pizza? Sure, sure. What would you like on each half? Oh, what toppings do you have? Uh, well, we have Italian sauce, hands, uh, mushroom. Onions, pineapples, black olives, uh, green peppers, bacon, tomatoes, shrimps, uh, clams, and uh, squid. Shrimps, clams, squid. What kind of things like that? Oops, uh, the manager spends some time uh, overseas uh, and trims oh, his no. new seafood pizza will be ahead uh, with the customer. But to be honest, uh, the swimmer is special. As he call, uh, calls, he has a quick uh, a square takes. Oh, I pass on that screen on screen, but I have pepperoni, half and green peppers, and Italian sauce on the other. Uh, and could I get extra cheese of that pizza? All right. Would you care for any bread, stick, or beverage uh, with your order? Uh, actually, well, we, uh, actually, we have a Friday night special going on right now. And oh. if you uh, if you order any large pizza and drinks, well, throwing a free order of breakfast plus a three dollar coupon for just with your your next order. Oh, oh, sure. Why not? And what drink comes with the pizza? Either apple or orange juice. I'll say orange juice. Okay, your total comes to fifteen nineteen, which includes tax. And could I okay. have your name? Oh, yeah. Jay Han. Oh, did you say Jay Han? No. It's Han. Actually, it's a Korean name, but many people uh, have difficult making it out. A hey, maybe I should change my name to Han. Oh, name is important. Uh, don't change it. Uh, oh, okay. I, and your address and telephone number? It's uh, 1340 South 16-8 and the full number? It's a three four zero eighteen seventy. 
Okay, let me repeat your order. A uh, large half, and half pizza, okay. one half pepperoni and mushroom. Yeah. And the other, and the other green Italian sauce and green peppers and orange juice and yeah. your free order on breadsticks, Jay Han, no hand. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so I didn't finish. 13, 40 socks, 6, eight, six uh, 3, 4, 0, uh, 18, 17, is that correct? Everything, is that for the phone number, it's uh, 18. 17. 17. All right. Thanks for the order. If you are right at your doorstep and 30 minutes or less, or you will receive a free small pizza with your next order. Fred, thanks. <laughs> finish, teacher. Finish, teacher. Finish. <laughs> Fantastic, great effort. Okay, it, it, the conversation was already created, but I, I could notice that you were practicing pronunciation and also the the fluency that they require. Okay. Because if we if we listen to the audio, we're okay. gonna notice that the people speak a little bit fast, right? So this is the original. Hello, can I take your order? Yes, okay. like a large pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and <laughs> would you like anything else? Well, wait, uh, can I make that a half and half pizza? Okay, that was really good, just for the way you, you, you did it, right? So, thank you very much. So, this is the way, right, to practice over and over again. Good. Okay, thanks, the tip. Right, thank you for doing your best effort. Then, we have a dance group. Ada and uh, Michael and who who is oh, okay so we have it here now it is uh, Michael and Daniel okay Ada empieza yo hello yeah. my name is Daniel can I hide you Hello, this is Miguel. I want to buy a smart TV. We have different TV brands, Sony, RCA, Philips, Sharp. Yeah, excellent. Can you give me the price of the TV? Yes, sure. What side are you looking for? I would like the looking for a Sony of the 32 inches. Yes, the price is $225 for delivery. Michael? Yes, teacher. Uh, okay, agree. Please send me in the main street called Miramontes, number 10, San Salvador. My number is, is 78, uh, 55, 37, 0, How good would you like to pay? In cash, please. Okay, thank you for your purchase. Thanks. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Now remember that when providing phone numbers, that you say O2, oh, right? Instead of saying zero two. It's, uh, I, I'm, I'm mentioning it because this is the second time I see it with uh, in, in, in the conversations, okay? O2, 
Thank you very much. And we finally have, I think Edgar's group is, is missing, right? Edgar, we still have like five minutes and we're going to be done with it. Edgar and Merlin, right? And I don't know, who else do, do you work with? Hi, teacher. Hello, Merlin. Um, I think that my partners uh, are listeners. Lis listeners. Uh, all of them? Yes, I I alone. Are you worked alone? Yes. Okay, what did you get, Merlin? And we're gonna finish with, with, with it, okay? Yes, I I make um uh, informal conversation. Okay. Um okay. Um Uh, is Irina there, please? Yes, I am going to hide the uh, is alcohol. Um, uh, yes, is Irina. Uh, I am calling to ask if are you are you going to are you going to the Isalka Volcano height? Height. Yes, I am going to height the Isalka Volcano. Excellent. Yes. Do you do you think if we go together? Yes, yes, I do. Um, could you bring the tent? Yes, I call psychic. Okay, I will see you the weekend. I see you. Goodbye. Only that, teacher. Fantastic! Hey, an effort that was made only one by one person. That's that's really good. Okay, it is really good because you don't you never gave up. Me, me encanta eso que que no se den por vencidos. Sí. Si, pues uh, hay alguien que tenga algún problema técnico o algo y no pueden eh, trabajar en pareja, pues eso siempre me ha encantado de los participantes que dicen, bueno, estoy, me quedé solo en el grupo, no tengo con quién trabajar, pero no se quedan con, con eso de, bueno, no, no tengo con quién, entonces mejor no hago la actividad, no, ¿verdad? Sino que siempre este, buscan esa manera de sacarle provecho al tiempo y eso es genial los estaba escuchando bueno, los estuve escuchando eh, cuando estaban practicando y ya luego cuando hicieron la conversación acá y es, veo que la creatividad siempre está ahí con ustedes y que también están poniendo en, en práctica lo que estamos estudiando verdad es importante que cada palabra, cada conversación, cada ejercicio, pues queden en, en nosotros, ¿verdad? Y lo más importante es que eh, cada vez que yo asigno una tarea, ustedes se vuelvan más fuertes, que es lo que estoy buscando. ¿verdad? Que cada vez que se, se deje, se asigne una tarea, un ejercicio, que salgamos siempre victoriosos, como sacándole el mejor provecho a, a la actividad. Mañana, Dios mediante, vamos a trabajar eh, respecto al tema de los hoteles. ¿Ok? Hoteles. Entonces, solicito que investiguen acerca del vocabulario, eh, de cómo, uh, quizás alguna conversación similar a lo que hicimos ahora, pero en donde alguien esté como reservando un espacio en un hotel. ¿Ok? Alguien puede investigar acerca de las instalaciones del hotel 
a otra persona puede, eh, no sé, investigar acerca de qué es lo que incluyen los diferentes paquetes que ellos, uh, que ellos brindan. Y alguien más puede ser curioso por ahí y decir, bueno, ¿y en dónde estarán como los mejores hoteles en, en nuestro país, en El Salvador? Investigar uno en específico y ya luego alguien más pudiera indagar y decir, bueno, y en, alrededor del mundo, ¿qué tal si yo investigo un, un hotel que sea famoso? Entonces, ahí logramos una diversidad de cosas eh, que, que, bueno, espero lo... lo, lo, lo lo logremos alcanzar el día de mañana en donde cada quien aporte algo referente al tema. Y si es posible trabajar, digamos, vocabulario en Word o en PowerPoint, pues que al momento que estén presentando, que nos lo compartan. Eso sería súper genial. Eh, esta, esta noche me gustó mucho eh, la manera en que interactuaron si ustedes se dieron cuenta, eh, eh, la clase se vuelve mucho eh, más fluida, eh, más interesante cuando todos o la mayoría pues está eh, participando. La verdad que lo felicito porque atienden el llamado ayer o antes, parece que yo les, les sugería, les sugeriría, les sugería, perdón, que trabajaran más en esa, en esa parte y eh, gracias por haber tomado en cuenta mis palabras. Eh, la otra semana, uh, si Dios permite, cerraremos el, el curso, ¿verdad? Pero seguramente ustedes sal, saldrán más fortalecidos de esto. ¿okay? Ahora pusimos en práctica vocabulario, eh, pronunciación, etcétera. Buscamos significados de palabras y pues... Creo que hemos tomado ventaja del tiempo. Mañana espero se preparen con el tema de hoteles para que se logren familiarizar y aportar con más énfasis en las actividades de mañana. No sé si hay preguntas, dudas, comentarios. No. No comments, no, no doubts, no comments. No. Ok, entonces. Teacher. Aníbal, Aníbal. Eh, ¿Eso sería individual o, lo, o va a dejar asignado pareja? Lo, lo de la Mira, si pueden trabajar en pareja, háganlo. Lo dejo de manera abierta. Porque pues es bueno también que nos sorprendan y de repente alguien dice, bueno, ¿por qué no lo trabajamos en pareja? O en grupos o individuales. Queda abierto. Okay, a lo que a ustedes mejor les parezca. Lo importante es aprender. Okay. Sí, sí, porque lo bueno sería en pareja, porque sería una, una idea de uno y la otra idea de otro. Se, se comparten las ideas, ¿verdad? Exacto. ¿Y si trabajamos con los grupos que trabajamos ahora, Ticha? Bueno, yo lo dejo abierto y pues la verdad que estaría, estaría muy bien la idea. Y este, presentar el día de mañana en parejas o en, en grupos, así como lo hicimos. De acuerdo. Yo no, no me acuerdo con quién trabajé, Ticho. Ya se está diciendo, no. Ay, este. Qué barbaridad como ustedes. Por ahí, pues no, pero por ahí se puede coordinar en, en el grupo, ¿ok? Okay. Así Thank que, you. pues, este, nos vemos mañana, Dios mediante, y espero que descansen ahora. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Good, good night. 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 Profe, tal vez manda los PDF en el WhatsApp group. The PDF, Michael, no, este día no utilizamos PDF, mm. pero los okay. enlaces sí los puedo, bueno, de hecho los compartí acá en el grupo. Eh, ok, teacher. es que a veces solo los manda a Zoom y a veces como me saca el, 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 el sistema, entonces cuando entro ya no, ya no mm. las veo. Ok, dime a second, lo puedo, quiero ver... Mm. Uh... Bueno, permítame, Michael, lo de la conversación de ahora.
se lo comparto por acá. Ahí está ese enlace. Aquí está otro enlace que utilizamos este día. Sí, aquí tengo otro enlace. Ah, bueno, este lo vimos ayer, pero igual este ya no lo, log lo logramos abordar, pero es bueno que lo sigan, lo sigan trabajando. Ok, Michael, de you are. Ya se desconectó, Michael. <risa> Y quizás se, 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 tuvo algún problema oh, de conexión, sí, sí. Bueno, feliz noche, eh, Buenas noches.